Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another match of Company of Heroes 2. Today we have two very big name players, as far as Company of Heroes 2 players are concerned. On the right side, spawning as our Wehrmacht, Nagano, playing under the name of Nico, which we have concluded is his Australian nickname. When, like whenever it. you have a name, you shorten it to something that ends on O, like uh, Davo, if his, someone's name is a David. Or uh, the other thing is you can do like a A on the end, so if it's Barry, it's, it's a Baza. Yeah, that works as well. There's uh, there's many ways to put it together. Anyway, his opponent for today um, will be Tallo. Uh, Taza. Today playing, oh, Taza. This is uh, today playing under the uh, pseudonym, pseudonym of Talisman. Really extended his name out a bit unnecessarily. We'll just just Taza and Nico for today for our cast. Just makes it a lot easier for us as Australians. We struggle to pronounce these long European yeah. names. Talisman. Anything more than two syllables, I can't handle. Yeah, it, two, two syllables is is, is enough for me. Yeah. It's a shame they're not pa playing on um Baza Forest. Yeah, oh, Baza Forest. Yeah, Love Baza Forest. Yeah, good map. Uh, other than that, Talisman having insta locked his mechanized. The new reworked mechanized company. Let's see if he goes for the military truck. It's not a very good map for it. It gets fouls too easily, so I doubt we'll see that. Mm, there aren't a lot of ways to use it effectively. Yeah, on this matchup in particular, it's just not a, not a good time. So. Yeah, it's, it's great versus the Kubel, but of course, very much just. And with delayed fouls. Yeah, well, so. delayed fouls, and the scout car shows up and just kills it. So, shame. I don't think the slot works. I mean, I mean, there are a lot, plenty of other light vehicles that certainly can have an impact in this matchup on this commander. Um, has been a cool rework. A rework that I feel has personality. A lot of the newer newer commanders, when they started just churning them out, just had no personality. It was like a bunch of tactics. <laughs> just like our Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull. Oh! 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 What if old Malco is uh, is a fan of our content? We've just done dissed him, so... Yeah. Look, I think if he was a fan of our content, he wouldn't have fucked up our NBN. <laughs> uh, he says uh, while having NBN. Hmm. But only because I'm one of the... We are one, one of the 0.1% like, yeah. that actually have not yeah. shit internet in Australia. Yeah. And NBN being fiber optics. The National Broadband Network. That was funny. That was funny. I had a good time. F funny and accurate. This this thing do. The five Australians who watch our content had a good chuckle. You're not right. saying anything, Tony. Uh, 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 I've given you the response you deserve. I don't know. I don't know if I missed uh, Tony Abbott. Like he was a fruitcake, but at least at least <laughs> he, he was funny. You know, he was, like yeah, he was funny. He was yeah. different. It was also on their uh, number one on the top five list of prime ministers most likely to do a Harold Holt. So, right, yeah, the budgie smuggler man, Mr. Tony Abbott. I don't know how I feel about the budgie smugglers. Just, uh... Right, I'm surprised he went for the building here. He probably would have been okay if he just stayed there. Mm. It depends. I mean, like, I think it would have been fine, like, if you got the model drop on the rifleman. But if he didn't get the model drop, it probably wouldn't trade that well. I, don't I suppose know. it's okay. Friends got behind cover. And it was like, you know, the, 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 like, if you're talking about, like, how much health the three models had, it was actually a fair bit. And as you can see, they actually ended up trading. Oh, wow, you go the military truck. You go the military truck. truck. That's weird. And has found the pioneers. Yeah, that's, that's really fantastic. good. Fantastic. Awesome. And he didn't even scout them. Just guessed, judging from where the capture, the, the capture order was, Talisman's just guessed where the pioneers were. That's very smart play. Also, then he can force away this Grandier squad here, which otherwise he, he can't force this off very easily. So that's actually going to be paying off quite well. Um, Karen's probably want to retreat here. Oh man, you may lose oh, that. He's lose. That's Such a, a late retreat. retreat. Oh my god. Maybe we'll be lucky here. Well, so lucky. Luck One more shot. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, the stop. Nice for the last volley. The timing from Talisman was perfect there. Nico having a, a bit of unspent manpower here. Also, having uh, locked in his Jaeger infantry. So he has a few options here, G43s, the, the ambush training, the stormtroopers, or rather the 
the Jaeger command squad, which has the same icon as the Stormtroopers. Thing that makes me angry. Make new art relic. Reused assets. <laughs> well, it's essentially the a community ability pack, is ready. So, yeah. The ability is ready. ready. Good news. The ability is ready. Well, story bro needs more voice lines. <laughs> Straight into a captain as well. You That's why they need to get Quinn Duffy to do the voiceovers so they can like replace it very easily when they need to. Yeah. Like I did the Ashes tutorial voiceover so I can update it. He have a good voice for it as well. So. Well, think, good, does Quinn Duffy have a good voice for voiceovers and that kind of thing? Um, it's not it's about Duffy? giving every bolt right. It's about capturing the tone. All right. And the yeah. Intensity. <laughs> Right, when I yeah. finish a Company of Heroes game, I gotta shake it off. I'm like, mm, oh my god, the RNG fucking hates me. Such a good video. You know he's seen that. Huh? When I made oh, it, my, it yeah, I, I was yeah. like, have you seen my I video? Bet. And he was like, yeah, it was funny. Um, anyway, G43 is on the field, as is the, the scout car. So this military truck is probably all kinds of dead. Yep. Goodbye. This has such a limited lifespan as well. It's waste of munitions. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone for the upgrade. That was a, that was weird. Well, it doesn't do much without the upgrade, so you kind of have to. But it's just, just dead destroyed. now. Have cut our I guess right, it does. no, no, it doesn't, does it? Yeah, I forget, I forget how. Well, you, yeah, you, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you, you can. Really do anything, yeah. He doesn't have any fuel, so yeah, I think he just got fuel. Anyway, um. It was very good map control though for Talisman, so he's already got his um, Stuart being produced. Um, it's, it's achieved what the military truck was supposed to achieve, so I'd say a good investment of munitions overall forcing this squad off. It's a nasty rifle nade. Good dodge. Nice timing. Thompson's very effective. Well, not at this range. Not at this range, but just to make the squad more combat effective. Is Zooks now then? I'm surprised he doesn't already have Zooks. That's a, that's a late upgrade. Could have upgraded it when the military truck went down. That would have yeah, been maybe in better timing. Instead, it looks like he's going to trade this. So this should be pretty obvious to Nico. Oh, that, this um, could be a sick bait if he yeah, gets better and see one off of this. It should be obvious this is no, a bait. Yeah, that's nice. smart. Yeah, that's, that's good. You just... That's the, the level that these, these players are at. It's like, why are you taking this engagement? I know you're a good player. You must be going bazookas here. Because otherwise, you, like, they'd be a terrible play to make. Yeah, and you always got to click on the... the wow, well, this retreat's down. Oh, it's a nasty retreat. You can't chase them here, though, so it should be okay. Uh, does already target the captain initially as well, so the auto cannon fires at the rifleman initially. Um, so the G43s might get the white. Doesn't look like Oh, wow, yeah. I don't know what they were targeting. Okay. They're not going to have a captain who took any damage out. No, I think there the was rifleman four or? riflemen too, so yeah. must have I've mistargeted that. Uh, building a pack now is Nico, but Talisman also getting his, his mortar half track. Mortar so half track and Stuart. Yeah, I think he's, he's worried about this, um, this HMG is a nuisance. Mm. The other thing as well is not just clicking on the veterancy to see when a rifle squad gets that one, but also. If you're using a light vehicle against an MG, you want to see what veterancy they have if, so they don't get the AP ammo and just kill you. Yep. Drew didn't actually go on the chase there against friends, which gives me an indication wants to play fairly safe. Contribute to these engagements. Just look that way. Just pull some grenadier squads off the map, which is smart. It'd be nice for Talisman to regain a bit of map control. The half track successfully forces off the heavy G. Solid play. Nico playing the Garrison Duke game. It's not going to work out very well. I mean, this is just eventually, yeah, that's a good retreat. Eventually, you're losing engagement. Unless you're actually getting anything out of it, like you have more squads coming up, or you have a pack moving up. There's no point taking a trade like that. Oh, I doesn't have a vision there. <laughs> Almost would reveal that. To the capping circle, but he's out of the capping circle. All the, 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 the central the, yeah, vision, vision circle. circle. Well, this is a deep play here. He's it, it close to having a bad retreat path as well. There we go. It's, it's a good play. Didn't get the nade off. Oh, it actually packs in position. Stuart going to take another pack shot here. Oh, no, just avoids the arc. That's nice work. But now he's driving into a Faust. Oh, the pack's staying still. Yeah, that was a really good not retarget. And uh, the scout car's nearby, so he can go in, but actually wipes the squad of Eshon. There's the retarget. Uh, you know, maybe that was a mistake. He really should just try and 
yeah, use the scout car here. It's not at full health, but it should be enough. The Pagas are going to fire as well, though. Am I wrong two for two? Oh my god, I'm wrong two for two. But it's okay. The, uh, Stuart. Wow, vision block damage as well, and gets the smoke down. The smoke was from the mortar half track? Must have been, yeah. There's no attack so. ground Pack here. Misses. Actually, I don't think you can attack around with the scout car. Stuart retargets the is. MG, damn it. That's annoying. Yeah, you can't attack around with the scout yeah, car. Leaving the pack where it was was really smart because if you back away, like if you take the other route, like up the up the snow, then the pack refaces and kills you. So good micro on both sides. Neither player could have played that one better. What's... Excellent bait by Nagano, leaving the pack behind the MG. So it's like, here's a flank on the MG. Yeah. In reality, it's a it's a pack. What's really nice is, is when you when you fake the the reface where you you pack it up and then deploy it in the same direction. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. You don't even you, just, you can you can just you know right click drag forward and it'll, it'll set up and then deploy again. Uh, and but then your opponent will think you're trying to rotate and then it'll go for the flank and then it just drives back into the arc. Um, I mean it doesn't always work, but the damage engine on the Stuart would have it could have got um, taken out there because it wouldn't have had the time to then change course again. Okay, yeah, your command squad has arrived. Complete with its half dozen abilities. Yeah, this is a really good turnaround because there's also an echelon squad that went down, so that's a lot of lost momentum. But weapon racks is going to make a difference here. We have some bars on the field, but more and more G43s. Um, yeah, man, this is crazy. Faust, rifle grenade, sprint, flare. So I guess it's only really. The smoke and the flare are the only things the unique. Because of the sprints on every other squad. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I'd say that the Nagano's commander scales better. Jaeger just, just scales better. So you get the much better artillery later on the game. All Talisman really gets is that Sherman. Pretty good though. He's already run through the majority of, of his early game stuff. Because you also get the um, the bulldozer upgrade. That's true. So you yeah, can get, you do get the bulldozer. And, and that's so huge that's because nice. it's one extra pack shot to kill tank. But it is it is slower, but that's not so much important on a map like this in particular. Also, the, then the dodge truck can can mark target for extra penetration, so that can help out. Not that it really matters, I suppose, without target. Maybe if there's a panther on the field, then that'll be useful. But. So I have to say, like, maybe the best play against Vermark is, like, go for that military truck and then pull it back to your base and just don't use it. Yeah, just like, evac and cap points. Play. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, maybe that is the, the better play until you actually need it again. Because it has such a small window of opportunity and then is essentially completely is useless once the community shows up. So maybe that, that is the better play. I haven't seen anyone actually go for that yet, but... Could be the way to go. You don't have to rebuild it later on. It's, it's not very expensive, but still. Holy squad formations, Batman. <laughs> those uh, those grenadiers have, have been to a front where there's an ISU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just came from, like, the Battle of Lungraskaya. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's... It's nice, but the moment they walk through coverage, they just can get one shot, so... <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Mm. Very pretty. Oh, preemptive AP ammo. What a mad dog. I oh, no. Isn't okay. He's going for the board. Never mind. I thought it was because he's capping the fuel point. He's expecting the squads to move up. Mm. It feels so good though when you get the preemptive AP. Yeah, and they're expecting you to reload, and it's already there. It's like ah, yeah. <laughs> the first volley comes out. Pretty freaky. Uh, G43 Grens will find so many good engagements against Bard Rifleman. I do love G43 Grenz against you. You just put him behind cover and just, you, you can't even close with the Rifleman because you still lose. Okay. Nico Nagano going straight for his tier 4. Already has that battle phase 3. So taking out the Stuart really opened up this possibility. Otherwise he may have just been pushed off with that Stuart. Also, I uh, must have missed it here. The, the mortar half track? What happened to that? It must have gone down to the scout car, so. Must have done. Where, where did it go down? Vehicles destroyed vehicle. three. Yeah, the scout car wow. killed it. So, uh. That's, that's, that's yeah, a lot of lost. I, forget. I don't know if we saw that. I don't remember. It's a lot of lost fuel. Um, Nagano playing one very well. Ready for assignment. Did you ever play versus this command squad when it was a P Grand five man squad? 
Wasn't it just ridiculous? It was. Like, it was OP. Yeah. The the fifth guy I had an MP40. Yeah, we yeah, might. Yeah, we probably yeah, did. Yeah. yeah. And I've played against it a couple yeah. of times. So it was. It was only four STGs, but just it had extra durability of that fifth man and the MP40 having extra damage. And then he had smoke, so you would just you would smoke off infantry sections and then just pop out of nowhere the STGs. It was right, so yeah. broken versus Brits. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you what doing? What are well? you I doing? I said that as well. As <laughs> as RTS players who are always on the lookout for like nade animations, we see that and it's just like, what are you doing? You pulling a nade out? Yeah, that, that's the problem. Is yeah, Code Two sort of programs you to look at all these really bad animations because you need to to follow the grenades. Yeah. Well, the bug animations. We can see a uh, we can see a dodgy animation at a hundred paces. So good the general gentlemen are. Are sprinting to the heavy cover. Jeez. I can say nope. I'm having uh, exactly zero of that. This is a very munitions heavy commander, so Talisman should try his best to deny the munitions. Currently, he's gonna have double munitions, which is not good. Dangerous, very dangerous. Just when you're heading towards that late game artillery. Uh, we're already at the timing. Going straight for a panther at this stage. Smart. Shouldn't be far off a of Sherman for Talisman. Yeah, Hayes is tier 4. Just need a little bit more fuel. So the G43 is will fall off at bet 3 versus bet 3. Well, because you get double bars, so yeah, it's not really cause, fair. Cause and, double bars, yeah, yeah, and they're 5 Double, double bars and, um, yeah. And you just take there's more of range engagements and stuff, so. Towards bet yeah, three, that true. will start to fall off. Um, the, the bigger the, the fights get, the more long range becomes potent. So close range things scale badly in that sense. Hence why LMG blobs are so obnoxious, because they just blob around in the situation. Yeah. And in and deep group HMGs and stuff. Man, these heavy cover positions are allowing Nagano to find so many good trades. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Towards our victory points, 348 for Nagano. Talisman on 385, so a slight advantage, which is surprising, I suppose, just a, a given since he had light vehicle pressure. Even though the light vehicles went down, they still created pressure at the time, which has led to map control. Nagano slowly starting to pull that back. Double Pioneers, double HMG, four infantry squads. It's a pretty good composition here. Yeah, a lot of manpower in the bank here for Talisman. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Side oh, pack out. Spend pack outs is going to be the first choice. Good stuff. And same for Nagato. Zero fuel Panther coming out and another, another MG. Fantastic position. Panther oh, he has Cloak. Nice. I wonder if any other squads have Cloak. Doesn't look like it. Uh, nothing else has it. Yeah. Don't they, the Jaeger, the Jaeger man squads just get it, don't they? Or? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh no, they must do. Yeah. Or maybe he's committed to. I don't know. I thought they did. maybe they just get it, or. Yeah, I mean, I played, uh, otherwise, I you, this new you you would see the upgrade icon. Yeah. So if we click on anything else, you see all those upgrade icons. Yeah. Yeah. But see, there's no icon. I guess you probably can't see that the viewers because of the webcam. No. You're uh, currently just picking my nose with the mouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it is the uh, the M what is it the 75 mil Sherman? I think that's what it's called. Uh, M4A3 76 Sherman. Yeah, 76 mil. So it's sort of like an easy eight, a little bit different, though, but similar weapon. Sherman's arrived directly into a Panther, which hasn't been revealed yet, by the way. Um, engine noise, yes. Panther, no. Uh, hasn't done anything, so. Yeah, maybe a little bit annoying for Talisman, but I guess you're probably gonna want the Sherman anyway. It's not ideal, but you're probably gonna want it anyway. Yeah, it's, it's decent against the Panther. Better than a regular Sherman. Um, only has one bazooka though. That's that's what his weakness. If he had more bazookas, he'd be okay. Doesn't have an 18 on either, so. I just got ham here. Well, if he pens one shot, then he can then he can just get a double anti grenade off. That bounce to that one. Okay, he's going back in. It's sort of. It's it's hard to fight around all these riflemen. Pan's playing at range here. There we go. So now he can get a nade off. 
I don't know if one nade does it, but certainly two will get the snare. Mm, I have a good, yeah, even charging there. I guess kind of worried about a potential AP gun being set up. Yeah. If there was an M1. It's a little bit dangerous. It looked like a bait to me. Um, yeah. Talisman was playing it like a bait. Yeah, which that's Which gave me the, the next level of thinking. Like, he was, was playing it. He was taking yeah, extra shots of the panther. It's like, why are you trading with a panther? Like, oh, you have an AT gun set up. And that's going to actually give him the time to buy an AT gun, which he has now. Um, well, it takes another shot there on that Sherman. But he's going to back away in time. Still has this scout car as well. That can be very useful at diving for the ambo snipe. Or, um, yeah, absolutely. Just flanking the Sherman, making it rotate, and then we get flanked by the Panther. So hopefully we see mines. Definitely want to have... Now you have US mines. Put them down here so you don't get Ambo dived. At least... I like where the Ambo is. It's, yeah, it's a bit it's harder a to dive down yeah. the south rather than um, normally you see it. Like, here, that's the most common spot, which is not good. Really cool. Maybe just let the 2 to 2 sit on an AT gun as well. So, like, if you go for a dive with the Panther, you just sit it on top of the M1, and then it does damage. Yeah, so it exactly. just, just starts chipping away at it. So it's about um, three now, but maybe he wants to use it for the, for the vision rather than just throwing it away like that. Yeah. I forget, does the 20 health help against anything? Is that is that one more shot? It's I don't know, or... actually. I forget how much health it did. Yeah, it must do. It must have 320 health. Yeah. In which case, that's actually a huge bonus. So MG accuracy as well. That's that's sort of... That's weird, though. Veteranacy that increases health is always strange. That doesn't make sense. Consistent. Because I don't know how many other units do. I know the, the Panther did, that's removed. I think the Yag Panzer got more health. I don't know if that's still in the case, but not, not many units will get more health. How many units? Even range? Like the tanks? Sometimes like the Tiger now gets additional range. Too. Goes back to the eight. Okay, that's the Strafe. Range. Now there's actually a Bazooki here on the Captain. Strafe's pretty out of position though. He's going to get one pass off, but as long as he just goes down south, he'll avoid the, sub the subsequent ones. Oh, nice. Actually, dodges that straight. That was good. Wow. Have to back away because of the bazooka. Yeah, the M1 as well fired. Got a, got a couple of shots off there. It's almost that one now, so that made a big difference. That was that was a pretty big misplay there, I think, with a strafe. Should have thrown it down to the yeah, south because yeah. which way is the Sherman going to go? The Sherman isn't going to go up north. Why would it go up north? It can't 1v1 the Panther. It's either going to try and run away into the base, or it's going to run away into an AT gun. It's, there's no reason that the Sherman would go north. And so it only got one pass off. Mm. Rather than um, yeah, another one. I guess the scout car is denying the South VP, so it's actually doing very well for itself. 18 kills. Very smart. Um, when you've only got one medium tank on the field, as Talisman does at the moment, you know, one Sherman versus Panther, um, just you, sitting that 2 to 2 on a VP gives you uh, free bleed. It's working. Talisman currently down to 217 VPs. So you kind of look at it and think, oh, that sucks. I mean, like, Nagano got so much light vehicle bleed and he got the Panther out at the same time as the Sherman. That's kind of annoying, isn't it? Not really, because the 2 2 is on the field and he, he has the infantry presence, so the VP bleed is working, even though it is, you know, Panther against Sherman. I think whatever. we saw him do a nice double tap with the counter or auto attack and then pull it up the barrage. Sherman finally going down to the south now. Uh, one Faust available there, but won't be enough for the snare. Yeah, Scout backs off, but VP is getting low for Talisman. And it's going to be harder and harder to fight around with the strafe available here. Nagano has just had so much munitions. Despite blowing that strafe, almost can afford another one. Have the munitions been in his hands for way too long this game. Still yet to be punished by Talisman. It's so hard for him to punish. Being active with the Sherman is uh, forcing Nagano to be reactive with the Panther, and you've got to be reactive. Can't just Ooh. sit it somewhere. He's kind of got it sitting in the middle, and then it reacts. It's going to blow up the house up. He needs to evac this one. one. Oh, one wow. More, I think. Yeah, yeah, this one. Nagano, don't do it, bro. Why is he backing off? Oh, he missed. Because he moved. Yeah, if he was stationary, he would have hit that. Wow, that's a misplay there. Mm, that was pretty bad. Just, just a tiny bit too early. That 100% would have been a wipe as well. Disappointing. It gets really hard for US to play without munitions because they need to they need to spend munitions for their AT gun to actually penetrate it. Okay, this could be a wipe. So the Brumbar is on the field or just about to be. 
and that's going to give him um, good VP control. You can prevent Rafus from capping that. Do you see the um, the turret on the Sherman Duke out? Because no. it was it was focusing. It has to target the actual model inside the house. I don't know if you need, you, you saw that, but like say if there's a model on either side of the house, it actually actually has to target a model. It can't just it doesn't fire at the house. It fires at the models. Right. Um, so like one at the model, it was aiming at died, and so it had to turn and face the reface the turret towards the model that was still alive. So it was just duking out and not firing. Right. Which is interesting. Um, yeah. Is he not a microable thing on the, the side of the guard? But it's still cool. Roomba mad. Roomba wants God to come back. So, Roomba is now on the field, supporting the Panther. Not a bad combination of units. <laughs> Name more Sherman iconic pressure. duo. Sherman ready. Name a more iconic duo. The General Sherman. Ooh. Done. Good response. Yes. A lot of nades, but Dallas not having the munitions to really make use of nades had he, if he actually had them. Yeah. I hate that rifle nade. Ow. I hate that rifle The minimum so range. Yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you're gonna have the, the, the utility of rifle nades, like, that minimum range should be, like, much more, much more punishing. You should have to give up regular nade range, but you don't. You, like... The, the minimum range for rifle nades is like max range for grenades, regular grenades, or like a bit inside that, so... You're not actually giving up anything by going, like, having rifle nades as opposed to regular grenades. Well, not as often, yeah. It is. Yeah. That should just be increased, just so, I, I like, think whenever you have a close range engagement, you can never rifle nades. I just think the problem is the lack of use. I mean, it looks stupid on the, on the ability, but every other grenade in the game has a fuse. And, and with a rifle grenade, you're trading sh lack of short range for long range. So, I don't know why they have no fuse. Like, that isn't necessary. I think, you know, even even if it's need be, give it a, a bigger radius. Just, it shouldn't have no fuse. That's just... It's just too hard to dodge it. I was wondering why the support weapons weren't wiped, and then I realized it was Major Artie and not Light Artie, because oh, there's right. Nagano's old units. So I was like, if there's Light Artie, those support weapons would be dead, but no, it's Major Artie. Longer delay. Well, double Sherm on the field now. So this Panda has to be a little bit more careful, though it is almost a bit too, and that will give it the extra armor. I think this oh. tool is outdated, though, because they shouldn't give... Oh, no, rather it gives health, not armor. But yeah, I got, I got a mistake. Okay, this could be a flank here. M1 as well. Panther has to run for his dear life. He's going to pop his Blitzkrieg, but we do see the strafe going down. The anti-tank strafe, that is. Panther phases through the Sherman. Hasn't taken any damage just yet. The Shermans are getting low here. There goes the strafe. Vet 2 Sherman going to die here. Damage engine on that Panther. He comes to pack. The Vet 2 Sherman is destroyed now, so that's a good trade. The other one's almost going to die as well. Yeah, it's going to die to the spouse, I think. Man, must got tagged by another strafing run. Goodbye. I think, did he forget about it? Salesman forgotten about this Sherman. Roomba might get him. Roomba, please! I swear if the if the, the, the grand rifles get this, I'd be pretty triggered. Yeah, that's an attack Roomba, move please! Command. What is the Roomba doing? Go, Roomba, go! She just drive along the road and then just wait for the last shot. It's gonna be yeah, as fast yeah, anyway. Double fast. Um, man, that was that was really, 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 really well micro Banagano. That M1 didn't fire a shot at the Panda until right near the end of that engagement. It's just, just. Insane oh, micro. lost the vet to a T gun. That's so bad. He needed that. So good, Benagato. You see it because the Panther was firing at one Sherman, but the other Sherman, and the other M1, weren't in range. And then the M1 tries to reface the Panther backs away. Now in range of two Shermans, but they're both really low. And that in order to to get the angle, um, the Sherman from Talisman had to go inside a pack range and Brumba range. Which was, yeah, insane. I like that. He builds two more AT guns. That's what you need. Yeah, he doesn't have much of a choice. He can, 82 VPs. Yeah, maybe we'll go for a Jackson, but yeah, low on VPs doesn't really have much time. This HMG is still being a huge problem now, with the Shermans down in particular. The Pack Howards can at least force them off, but he has to be careful that like the Brumba is firing over the building and doing it. 222 two, two position at the front gives the MG the, the full use of its range. This game should be over. I, I don't think Talos can hold on here. Points. I mean, what's it going to be? Another Sherman? I mean, maybe he makes something happen with this triple IT gun Sherman. 
can take out the Broomba and the Panther. He's, in, he's, he's back in the game, but 70 VPs is going to be so difficult. And Packhouse is still alive, so he can at least displace MGs. It's looking pretty dire straits. Well, he's going to have the, the M3 171mm anti-tank gun, so that's pretty powerful. You heard me. Nagano, though, can afford another tank, though he's pop-capped, so... He's... He's in a great spot. He can throw away one of these tanks and it won't matter. Still has another strafe soon available, having that double munitions income. 40 VPs. Ah, oh, and the, oh, the, the stealth this that's... entire time, MG is going to make it work. Magic goes, oh. I wonder how much range that has. Probably uh, can't if that doesn't it. get the pin, I'm going to be so sad. Oh. So sad. Actually, it's the decap. Well played. Come on, Caption. Major. Ah. Oh. Oh, did he blow up the eighth? No, he retreated. The MG retreated. Yeah, retreated. Okay, 21 VPs left. The middle one was neutralized, but the HMG is still there. Probably gets recapped. Yeah, I, I don't see him taking this. That's GG. Yeah, another, another, it was another Sherman from Talisman, but it's just not going to arrive in time. This middle VP gets capped, I think that's it. Yeah, the bottom one still has a broom bar on it. Captain doesn't arrive from the stool in oh, time. He wipes it though. Guns got down. Um, very well let out game by by Nagano. Masterclass on how to play from in front and how to hold BPs. So how how he had his units positioned and how he's playing around with the Sherman. Very smart. Yeah, that was that was crazy. It, it shows what happens when US loses their light vehicle so early on. Is then you just you just lose your momentum. And then, um, like they are techie, I guess, because he also lost his mortar too, so he went weapon racks, so he just, he, mm. he, it was so much of a fuel investment that he just didn't have the, any tanks. And if you don't have any vehicles, you just get wrecked by HMGs. You, you really need HM, uh, you really need vehicles to, to counter HMGs, whether it's to just, just to see them so you can flank them, or whether it's to force them off or barrage them, whatever it is. Playing without light vehicles is always so difficult as, as allies. Um, particularly US. Yeah. Now that you don't have the uh, the smoke, but but again, it's also the the problem of giving your opponent so much munitions, and and this the strafe is just so good that when when you can just keep using it in every engagement because you have the entire map worth of munitions, it's it's crazy. Insane. So great game. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we'll continue casting company for us too. We're certainly enjoying. The, uh, the new patch and the uh, the change-ups it brings. Yeah. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter if you haven't done so already to keep up with all of our videos and streams and announcements and memes and so forth. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.
I'd say memes, most importantly. So. <laughs> Dank memes? Dank memes are the only kind of meme that I like, Callum. The dankest of dank memes. Dank memes. Oh.